Hey everybody, Scorpion here. So, from the beginning of this build, um, I was going to put in a generator, um, and I probably still will, but I'm trying to figure out how to do it the easiest way. So, when I was talking with uh, the lady with Signature Solar, she said the easiest way to put in a generator uh, is backup power without messing up your batteries or electronics or whatever is to run it through a charger so I'm trying to install a plug um, and it's a 15 amps into the charger 20 amps out of the charger so I'm putting installing a plug uh, with a port and stuff that will allow me to plug in a regular drop cord and get my 15 amps to the uh, trailer and 20 amps out to the batteries uh, to give me backup power so if I'm at home at night, it can run from the house. Uh, during the day, hopefully, I'm going to end up getting to a point that the trailer will help offset the power in the house during the daytime. Um, I mean, it's only five panels, but I don't want to be pulling my batteries down at night. So I'll have to put a charge inverter in or something that says, okay, you know, the panels aren't pulling anymore or disconnect my batteries or something. Haven't figured that part out yet. I'll get there when I get there and I'll figure that out. But I mean, I should be able to just disconnect batteries. And when I'm at the house, you know, my my system can run to the house during the day and the house run to the, to the trailer at night. Um, but with that said, that's kind of where I'm at. So stick around. I'm going to show you what I got and we're going to see if we can install it. Alright, so this is what I got. It's a M-I-C-T-U-N-I-N-G, so it's MIC tuning AC port plug with extension cord. Uh, snapshot, it's uh, AF20M-S. If I think about it, I'll link it below. I'm horrible about remembering to put links in though. Um, but this is the box here that it comes in, so feel free to look it up uh, online. And uh, this, is, this is what it shows on the back. So basically it comes with its own keyhole saw, so you don't have to dig around to find one of those. It comes with the port, make it watertight, it has a rubber seal, and then it's got the extension cord that comes inside that I can plug the charger in with. And it comes with a couple screws to mount it and so on and so forth, and a couple little uh, plastic things to mount the wire with. <clears throat> so I went outside kind of measured up about where I wanted to be at um, come back inside did some measurements to kind of get it where it should be so we're gonna go ahead and drill this hole and uh, see how it goes all right so when I took the other wall down and put this back up I know there's another piece of wood behind this hopefully I'm gonna hit that but no guarantees um, no real reason to hit it it'll mount fine as it is but we're just going with that and uh, if we can drill right straight through them both, I think it would keep it nice and snug and doing good. So with any luck, this will wind up where we want it to on the inside. Clean her out and go some more. Go through? To the metal. Alright, so we clean the head out so we can keep going. Got a spring in there. Just a little 
off this in a bit. We'll eventually get there. I bet you that bit's hot. Yeah, a little bit. Straight through. We'll go inside and see where our hole is, and then we'll come back and uh, install it. All right, so we're pre-drilling the aluminum holes. Technical difficulties. Oh my gosh. I think it's another piece of metal behind that. You want me to keep going? Yeah, a little bit further. Because right. two pieces, two sheets of metal came out. There you go. Come on back out. Alright, hold on, hold on. Do the other two that you've already done. Get in there. I'll give you the camera. Y'all, welcome back to the vlog here. It's a uh, mini scorpion. Look at that shadow. He looks so fun. Yeah, there's this old fart. As y'all know, I do overdo everything. Can't never have enough silicone. And that is hot. This needs just a little bit. And that's your definition of a little bit? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I hate to know what your definition of a lot of it is, man. You're covering it. I'm just trying to be kind of thin because I know that rubber gasket's going to sit up there and seal it off. That point, just don't even use the rubber gasket. Now, this is not even, so I'm gonna run it around this too because you got the diamonds and stuff. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, that's what you're saying. That way, it doesn't make little bubbles. Mm -hmm. I leave little spots that are open. Feed the long thing back through the hole. Let that sit right there a minute. And this bit doesn't clip in, so we're uh, just making do here.
So as you can tell, we pilot drilled the holes, but we made them small. like to feel how snug it is by hand. Nice and gooey. And we're good. So now we'll go back inside and uh, support that, that cord to the wall somewhere and see if we need to spray foam the hole on the inside. So we're still coming to inside here. Not that I'm worried about water getting in here, really, but just in case. And on top of that, it'll also act as a little bit of insulation and protection. Should take care of that. Yeah, we're gonna figure out what we're gonna do with this plug. I think I'm just gonna kind of do this number with it. Because this is gonna plug into the charger. The battery is over here, but regardless, I've got plenty of cord on the um on the charger so no matter where I really put this it should be fine so, kind of run it like this That should take care of that so it's out of the way up here against the front so now my charger can plug into this and I will have good power coming in to my batteries to run the system if my system gets low hope y'all enjoyed